when I found you, found one more reason to smile. When I found you, I knew I finally found enough. When I found you, I found love. Yeah, I did. When I found. Dearly beloved, we're gathered together here in the sight of God in the presence of these witnesses that join together this man and woman in holy matrimony, which is an honorable estate instituted of God in the time of man's innocency, signifying unto us the mystical union that is between Christ and his church, which holy institution they are now entering into Adorned by Christ, beautified by his presence and first miracle that he wrought in Cana of Galilee and his commitment of St. Paul to be honorable among all men. Therefore, it is not by any to be entered into unadvisedly, but reverently, discreetly, and in the fear of God, into which holy estate these two persons present come now to be joined. Therefore, if any person can show just cause why they may not lawfully be joined together, let them now speak or else forever hold their peace. And I want to direct this to Ron and Teresa. I charge you both, as you will give an account at the day of judgment that either of you may know any impediment why you may not be lawfully joined together in matrimony you do now confess it for be well assured that so many as are coupled together otherwise than the word of God doth allow are not joined together by God neither is their matrimony lawful I want to ask your question Ronald Brazel would thou have this woman to be thy wedded wife, to live together after God's ordinance in the holiest state of matrimony? Would thou love, comfort, honor, and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep thee only unto her so long as you both shall live? Teresa McGriff, wilt thou have this man to be thy wedded husband? To live together after God's ordinance in the holiest state of matrimony. With thy love, honor and keep him in sickness and in health. And forsaking all others, keep thee only unto him so long as you both shall live. Who giveth this woman to be married to this man? Repeat after me. I, Ronald. Thee, Teresa McGriff, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in hell, to love and to cherish, till death do us part, according to God's holy ordinance. And there too, I plight thee my faith. His hands and you take his hand again. All right, repeat after me. I, Teresa McGriff, take thee, Ronald Brazel, to have and to hold. From this day forward, for better, for worse, for 
richer for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance, and thereto I plight thee my faith. Okay. You the ring? Ring bearers? Now, I want you to repeat after me. With this ring. I thee win with all my worldly goods I thee endow in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost Amen with me. With this ring, I thee wed with all my worldly goods, I thee endow in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Well, the unity candle represents that unity that will take place between this married couple. And they symbolically have lit the candle. And we praise God for their union today. I want to have everyone to bow your heads for just a moment, please. Bow your heads for just a moment. Father, we come before you now in the name of Jesus, thanking you for this union of Ronald Brazel and Teresa McGriff. And Father, we pray that you, your blessing be upon them today as they enter into this new venture into their lives. Be with them, walk with them, and help them, Lord, to place all of their trust and their faith in you as they go down this road together. Father, we thank you and we praise you for your blessing upon them today. It is in Jesus' precious name that we pray. Amen. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time anywhere, anywhere ever seen before, I present unto you at this time Mr. and Mrs. Ronald Vershawn Brazel Amen Give God a praise Mr. and Mrs. Brazel All right All right <laughs> Right.
this time, the bride and groom will take part in their first dance.
feel like a breath of fresh air. Oh, no. 